Hey, orange one here, and it has been a cool minute since I've played this game. Um, oh, whoops, wrong, wrong button. Um, basically, I <laughs> haven't played this in like a month, so I'm a little bit trying to figure things out. Um, from what I remember, we had, yeah, we had put this place down here, and I actually did some research online, and the, um, the camps that you can make... Uh, you can actually make them in evac shelters now. So, um, if I get out of my car here, I believe we should have a special option to talk to people about, um, about that. We do also have a couple zombies around, it looks like. Um, is it night right now? It is. It is actually the middle of the night. Um, but those zombies should be able to see me. So I'm just gonna actually shoot them. Uh, hold on. Oh, our gun is empty. Yeah, look at how many magazines I have. It's kind of a little fun fact. We're, we're uh, very much packing. I think, from what I remember, we had been demolishing zombies for quite a while now. Uh, we do have another friend that should be following us around as well, so I'm kind of curious as to why they're not. I think it might be our friend who's asleep, I'm pretty sure. Let's just double check. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, there's an ethereal zombie actually. Hold on. Hold on, team. That's another reason that it's good that we have the, uh, the lights on there, because that guy could have snuck up on us. Um, yeah, in any case, I wanted to see about the evac shelter here, and I was thinking about going with this one that was a little bit closer, um, but the problem is that there's, um, ants everywhere. So, yeah, we're probably not going to be doing that. So if I talk to, um, I think it's, who is this? It's right here. Harvey. Yeah, let's talk to Harvey. So if I tell you that, uh, let's talk about faction camps. I want you to build a camp here. Um, I think so. Yes. Um, evac. Shelter. So if I am... If this is like a place, can I... Now live in it and like do expansions and stuff? I've forgotten exactly how this works, but I think you have to do like um, something like that, like a bulletin board. Hammering, yeah, so wood pa panels, planks, nails. Well, there's tons of ingredients um, for all of that right here. We just need to get it. Yeah, it, it was totally our friend, um, our bird man. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll get, I think we just want the toolbox. No, oh, hold on. Wrong thing. Yeah, I, uh, I'm definitely excited to be playing this game again. I just, like, totally have been neglecting it, and I, I miss my sci-fi. I need, I need my dosage of sci-fi. Um, and this is a great game for that, right? Great game for getting that sci-fi, uh, need scratched. Uh, can I close these actually. I'm just gonna just take a little bit of time. You know, I've not actually played with these evac shelter. Oh, actually, no, there's, um, oh, look at this. The bulletin board's already there. That's kind of cool. So if I then turn this on, look, there's that. I'm pretty sure that, um, yes, I do want a sort zone. Um, so let's see. Auto drink and auto eat. Let's have that on the counter here. And um, auto eat right there. Um, base camp food. We'll also have that right there. Base camp storage. Um, let's set this table up as the base camp storage for now. 
Oh, oh wow, you can have like farm plots, all kinds of stuff. Uh, construction blueprint. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of confused as to how that works. Let's see, um, we'll get the individual loot figured out a little bit more. Um, can I tell NPCs to retreat to here? Yeah, that, that I think should be good. Vehicle repair zone. I think we'll have the whole front of the road here be the vehicle repair zone. And... No, we're not going to have any patrol or anything like that. Um, source of firewood. I don't know if we're going to really need fire firewood for what we're going to be doing around here. Uh, yeah, let's save those changes. Um, upgrade camp, build a fireplace. Oh, so actually it does want something like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. So then we, we could cook if we had um, a wood place or a fireplace. Hmm. Well, we could make a wood stove, actually. I think that we might even have the metal tank in our car. I think we could actually make a wood stove not too difficult. Um, if we don't have the 60 liter in the car, the car that's right there or nearby might do. Oh man, I'm super excited. This is pretty cool how they've changed some of this stuff. I mean, just seeing how it's already changed. Um, I'm enjoying. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm not going to be able to do much commentary on this, by the way, because I am thinking quite a bit while I'm trying to get this all done. Uh, what were we trying to do? We were trying to get something for the base, and now I've forgotten it because I started doing commentary. Ah, uh, right. Uh, the 60 liter tank. That's what it was. Yeah, I don't think we have it just, like, laying around. No. Okay. Let's have a look at this car, then. Yeah, they do have, actually, uh, a 60-gallon tank right there. That's perfect. That's, like, literally perfect. Oh, what? My, my head is getting hurt? Apparently, my head is getting hurt. Uh, can I get repair nanobots on... And, uh, I guess we'll carry this over. Oh, did I... I haven't got a strap or anything on that? Hold on. Really? I could have sworn I would have had something that I could have put our gun into. I'm also wanting to, um... Uh, fill up our gasoline tank with what we've got in here. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, so actually that looks like that filled out all the way. Um, I am a little bit nervous that I'm going to forget that I left my gun out there, so I'm going to go get that really quick. And then we'll work on building that little, little stove. Let's get... Scar. Nice. Okay. Um, what's going on with our body temperature? I need to look at that instead of just ignoring it. My mouth. My mouth is freezing. Negative 70. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. I don't have anything on my mouth. I thought I had a scar for something. That's weird. Did our scarf item, like, get made obsolete or something? Because I could have sworn I had a scarf on. What? Like... No. <laughs> this is so weird. Let's see, let's look at um, category clothing. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that goes over our, our mouth, which is super, super strange. Um, I mean, I don't want to have a... Uh, whatchamacallit on all the time a gas mask let's let's see about what clothing we can make because it looks like we don't have anything which does not make sense to me um 
have a look drinking hat oh that is hilarious i kind of want to make one of those i think that that's actually perfect for our character and some attached earplugs is kind of um kind of interesting i mean it's so small of an item it's not really even worth bring making uh let's see i want to make a scarf to do so i'm gonna need yeah some like rags and fiber and stuff well, i think we can actually take some of that off of our evac shelter you know it kind of breaks the point of having the blindfolds on there though Yeah, let's see what we can do. Um, do I have any sheets in here? I have... Oh, man, I have American flags. <laughs> oh, man, I would... I almost, like, used one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's look at the clothing again. Yeah, they, there isn't an awful lot that I could cut up. Yeah, I think that it's a shame because this is our evac shelter, but um, can I, uh, if I look at, isn't there a way to like remove without break? I don't want to break the thing is the, the problem. Um, deconstruct furniture. Yep, I would like to deconstruct that because I think that will then give me the Oh, what? That, like, straight up deconstructed the whole window. That was not what I intended to do. Uh, build window. Well, dang. Oh, I'm using up a lot of our power. Oh, it's because I think we're healing up or something. Well, that was a very complicated way of going about what we needed to get done. Uh, do I have one of the sheets? I do not. Uh, let's cut up a uh, sheet and then actually I think I'm just gonna bring our our kit out with us you know what's funny is that um, with the whole corona thing like I was talking with my um, father-in-law about being ready for like the the end uh, the end times you know kind of stuff and he was talking about, he's like, you play all these games, what's your strategy in the actual case of the end of the world? And I'm curious what your guys' strategies are, actually. I'm, I'm a little intrigued, you know. We'll have a little repository of helpful tips down on the bottom. I mean, may, probably not actually helpful tips, right? Um, let's see. What was I doing? I was gonna make a scarf. Because our old scarf disappeared. Um, and we could do that. I think we want the long one though, because it isn't it like better or no? It doesn't actually seem to be better. Okay, well we'll go with the simple patchwork scar scarf then. Um, I know we're kind of like slumming it. We have like the finest of some of the goods in the land. Uh. I, not all of that, I want to keep some of it, yeah, because we need it for the crafting. Uh, we'll do that, we'll do the simple. Just drop the gun for a second. And we'll wear that. Um, scarf. Oh wait, what? Our, our beak mutation? Oh, well that explains things. That explains why um, we aren't wearing our... <laughs> Our scarf, it, it popped off. So if I look at XL, because that's the denomination that you... Or not denomination, the prefix that you need for survivor gear. Is there anything that can cover my face that is going to be... Like, not like a hugely encumbering mask? That I mean, I don't know, to be honest. What... what could I still wear? Um, I'm honestly not really sure. 
I, I really have no idea what, what to do about our beak. Uh, besides wearing like an actual survivor mask. Um, I mean, we could always wear our... No, actually, no, that's... Our heavy survivor mask it doesn't work for that. We're gonna need an XL survivor mask. Yeah, like one of these guys. Oh, man. That is so annoying. I mean... It seems a little ridiculous that, like, a rider's mask doesn't have the... The tag for, like, the mutated... Um, stuff on it. Well, we're going to have to be really careful because I know that I'm going to want to um, get into combat before I, I've taken care of that. I just know I will. I'm going to be a little bit careful. Uh, we did say that this whole area, this table, was like our... Um, going to be where we actually store things to pick up. Let's get some of these uh, benches taken apart, though. Um, and our mouth is still very cold. I honestly don't really know what to do about that. Is there any scarf that, uh, I mean, long wool. Okay, so the long would actually, would have worked. So can I disassemble this? It doesn't look like I can. Oh, actually, no, I totally can. Cool. Well, let's do that then. Because I, the long one actually, if that works, that's perfect for us. Ignore uh, scarf, long. Yeah, good. Just drop it. Oh, and, uh, oh, we interrupted our construction. Can I wear that now, please? Thank you. Now we're not like dying of having a cold little nosy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I know. I just said nosy. What, you want to fight me? Um. What was the thing? So. I need. Large wooden sheets and wooden panels. I think. I've forgotten exactly how this works, but like the zones are. Um. I think, God, how does it, not base missions, I, I want to look at zones, I think it's, I have to do, oh yeah, it's capital Y, so if I look at adding zones, the base camp storage is actually that table, so I'm just curious, this is just a little uh, science experiment, if I put this here, does that then show up um, for my task of build yes it does oh that's very cool I actually like that a lot um, I'm just going to take a second to tell our character to organize things um, can I then say what's unsorted I forgot exactly how that goes I am not seeing it right now, but I thought there was like an unsorted kind of thing. Loot unsorted. I'm going to make basically everything besides that table, the loot unsorted that needs to get sorted. So anything that's on that side. And I'm going to say anything that I have entered and dropped like on the grass here is also unsorted. Yes. And that I also think means I should probably just drive our car a little bit. Um, just to make sure it's not in our sort zone. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, I don't think it would mess up anything, but I don't really know. I am just going to do a little quick save just in case everything gets uh, sorted. Um, and then how do you actually do the sort? Or the, um, what's the capital Y menu? Um, I, I know it's related to that. I just need to look for the capital Y. There's capital Y, manage zones. Um, so that's the managing of the zones, but what's the organization? Is it capital O? Yeah, sort out my loot. 
Um, okay, so that sorted everything out possible, it says. But I have one of these things over on this table, so how do I do that? That's all unsorted. And then this is the base camp storage. So if I go to loot and I go to, um, I'm going to say spare parts and put that there. I'm just curious if that then organizes it. Yes, that actually did organize a lot of stuff. Um, it didn't look like it got all the nails though. Didn't actually get any of the nails. So if I go here and I go up to this, I could um no we don't have the stuff that we need let's just keep on deconstructing this bench and then i think we might need to get like a wooden panel from somewhere actually can i if i click on that again oh yeah unfinished task oh that's nice i remember back before they had that that was a really annoying thing that you'd have to sort out uh there's a brand abandoned drive through I think we're gonna need to go in there for our wooden panels. Actually, there's a table. Eh, we could we could just use this table. Actually, hold on. I just realized. Yeah, I thought like, oh, I bet my flashlight's still on, and it totally was. Um, I'm pretty sure this is how you get the wood panels, right? Yes, wooden panel. That's what I'm looking for. And uh, is that infected survivor? Yeah, they're coming for me. Um, can I wield my, let's get the coil gun. Mostly because I just don't want to deal with going and getting our actual gun. But I think that, yeah, given the fact that they could give me infections, probably don't want to be playing too much with them. Let's go ahead and let's get joint servos on just because I want to get the distance and this thing's actually pretty quick by the looks of it quicker than I thought it would be I'm gonna just use the rest of the coil gun we got tons of nails um, that is a little too close though oh something crowed out crawled out of a crow egg around here interesting I mean I would assume that it's gonna be a crow but could be wrong. Okay, I didn't get hit. That could have been a fungal infection right there. Okay, let's just get a little bit better aim. Oh, come on. This thing has to be about to die. Yeah, let's get that aim up. Seriously. Oh no, they've grabbed us. Okay, we broke free, good. God, seriously? Okay. Those poofs could have actually gotten me. I don't think they did, though. Yeah, I think that we're okay. Good. I shouldn't be walking around without our gun. That was honestly me just being irresponsible. Yeah, just wait till we catch our breath. Yeah. And then we'll... We'll smash that. Cool. Oh, there's some grape drink. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll we'll have the grape drink off of the dead zombie that's infected with the fungus. Yeah, no, no cause for alarm there. Oh, did you notice also the parking lots are on the wrong side of this place? <laughs> yeah. Uh, can I um, organize? Yeah, sort out my loot. It's good. And then, if I'm looking at that stove, yep, we got the wood. I just need the pipe and the pot. I th I'm sure we've got a pot in here. We have to. Um, it's too dark. No, it's not. Not anymore. And it might actually get too dark while in the middle of this, so I don't know. Yeah, it'll, it'll let me do it. Cool. Sort out my loot. Yep, thank you. And then I think we also needed a pot, right? Yeah, I don't think I actually talked about my plan in the end, did I? 
I, basically what I said to him was it's all about traps. Like, I'm not trying to go out and actually fight someone. Like, you know? Like, that's that's dumb. In, in the apocalypse, that's how you die. Um, I'm much more about having someone run into a trap or something that I've made. Okay, so we don't actually have a pot. Well, that's a shame. Um, and we could probably make a stone pot pretty easily, actually. I think, oh man, there's another one of these dudes. Can I run into my car? Oh no. Close it. Okay, cool. Now that thing's outside the car. Um, gives me a little bit of time to collect my thoughts though, so it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's gonna just kind of hang out there. Can I then, um, try and kind of sneak out the back? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get our gun, and we'll, we, uh, yeah, let's, yeah, get the coil gun away. And then we'll, we'll lure it over here. Hello? Oh, did I just shoot the cloud? I think I just shot the cloud instead of the actual infected survivor. Oh, really? There we go. I just wanted to make sure that cloud wasn't right next to me, honestly. Yeah, I think as much as it's a waste of resources and time, like in game time, in real life time, it's fine. So... I might see about making a pot. Oh my gosh, that takes an hour and a half. What about one of the, um, the other pots? There's a clay pot right there. That takes a fair amount of time, but we don't have clay. Um, makeshift pot? And that takes 20 minutes, but I don't think that that's going to work. I don't think that that was um, what they're looking for. Well, we'll go ahead and do this. Just because we have the resources, you know? Um, yeah, just honestly, you can put the gun down. I just need to make sure I remember to pick it up again. Uh, ignore... Oh, oh, never mind. We actually do need to get involved. Okay, let's see about putting our construction down then. And we'll get our gun back. Hello. Why don't you come over here? I know they they are very handsome cyborgs. And yeah, I don't know about the cow situation and the hunt for the stomachs. There's actually a ton of cows down here. And I'm kind of split. I'm not sure if I want to like kill them all just for our bull cyborg minotaur warrior. Or if we want to raise them and like, you know, milk them. And turn that into, I don't know. Some sort of product. I mean, I know that I personally went to raise the cows and have like a little dairy farm. Nosh, though, I'm pretty sure would make the Minotaur Man. So that's probably what we're going to end up doing. Um, we were working on that pot. Yes, I remember that now. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's work on craft. Uh, yes. Oh, you know what? I was I wanted to say I wanted to know if Erst was still watching these because I hadn't seen him comment on the last few and I was getting worried, you know. Like it's kind of uh let's see, maybe I should get a shoulder strap on here. Do we have any straps around here? Uh we do not have any straps here. Really? A shoulder strap is like the quickest thing ever to make. Yeah, let's just use some of the long string. And then, um... Oh, look, we have a battle axe. I remember making that now. Um, that I was going to give to one of our companions. I do remember. Um, to our minotaur, our future minotaur man. We were going to make him a battle axe. It looks like I did make him a battle axe, I should say. Um, oh, we need to unload that, and then get that on there, and then we're going to reload. Cool. 
And now we can wear our gun, which should be very useful. Mostly so that we don't have to, like, pick up everything individually. Actually, you know what? We're going to take this Balax and we're going to talk to Harvey. I want you to use this item. Yep, I'll wield that. Let's go. Look at that. He's got himself a battle axe. Dude, that guy is going to be so cool. I'm pretty excited, actually, about that. I kind of want to see him fight a zombie now. Um, that's Without further ado, let's go ahead and get us that pot. And I'm, I'm just going to keep you with us, because you have to at least... After I've spent all this time trying to actually build this wood stove... I feel like I need to actually do it. Uh, so let's get that and the nails there as well. We should have some nails. Oh, cool. So I've been... Oh, I wasn't putting those down. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. So that should be everything that we need on the table. Right? Um, hammering. Oh, so I need my toolbox to be in the pile. Okay. And then I can I can be like, yo, oh, I see, I remember now. I need actual food and I need to put people to work. I vaguely remember how this works. So I need to get some food. Uh, let's go with stuff that's labeled as old. No, never mind. Um, Old, yeah, let's go with stuff that's labeled as old. It's showing me things that are cold. Okay, that's not exactly what I wanted. If I grab that meal and this this meal as well, I'm just curious if that's enough uh, food, like calorie-wise, to um, <laughs> get someone to build this thing for me. So can I be like, hey, uh, come with me? Yes, I can. Oh, cool. So this person did come with me. So I think our food storage is right here. So if I put the food right there and then I go here, can I then, oh, so that's, hold on. That, that's the auto eat section. So I think I need that. I don't want the auto eat. I want food, base camp food. So let's get the base camp food. Um, to be also right there. Yeah, that should be fine. And then it says you don't have enough food store. I bet we just need more calories or something. I'm honestly just going to look up in, in the fridge and see what we have. I might just grab like some of the dehydrated meat and use that. Um, I mean, it's so readily available to us. I think we should probably do that. Yeah, we do have some random stuff like in in there. Let's just get uh Yeah, cuz that actually is getting old anyways. And I think that's a good amount of calories. Actually, I, I did want one of those dudes to come with me, right? Yeah. Come on in. Let's go ahead and see about dumping this dehydrated meat there and seeing if it will will let me do that now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this uh Let's try just one more thing with the food. Perishable. Um, so it says and distribute food mission. Okay, so I need to distribute food first. So if I go to, yeah, distribute food. Okay, cool. Ah, I remember that now. Okay, so I can... Then can I give this job to him? No, he doesn't actually have high enough mechanic skill. Oh yeah, I remember that now. Okay, well we'll get like maybe um, our bird man to do that then. Because I think he has the mechanic skill. Right? Let's just kind of push you out a little bit. Uh, he's he's going to be annoying. Let's just see if he has the skill. Uh, before I actually make try and get him out there. If I want to look at your skills, where's the skills on you? 
Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't see it. There's just too much stuff on this menu now. Abilities. Yeah, that's it. Um, his mechanics is only at one, so we gotta level up their mechanics anyways before we actually build this. But you kind of you get the idea. You kind of see how it's changed since we were playing with a uh, Nosh in in building camps. Um, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.